Miguel Angel, he asked straight up, are prices growing faster than rents? Since we were just talking about how prices and rents are, are corresponding. Yes. <laughs> yes. So home price appreciation is outpacing rent prices. I'm I'm talking about the last three years, 100%. Yeah. Yes. You yeah. know, this year, it's probably pretty close. What, I mean, they're both up a little bit. And what does that mean to an investor? Like, what should I infer into that? Big picture. In many markets out there, it is getting increasingly hard to produce positive cash flow because as home prices go up and up and up and rents generally don't keep pace with prices, it gets harder to produce positive cash flow. So some borderline cash flow markets out there are no longer cash flow markets. Mm -hmm. You know, luckily Jacksonville is an affordable market. So even though home prices have gone up and rents have gone up, but not as much. We're still able to produce positive cash flow for these portfolios that we put together for, for clients. What you'll see is instead of producing positive cash flow at 20% down, like may have been possible in the past, now you got to put 25% down. And sometimes it's 30% down. So positive cash flow is not hard to achieve in our market. But as home prices continue to outpace rents, it will get increasingly difficult. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll see where what rents and home prices do over the next few years. You know, I just don't see them outpacing. I don't see prices outpacing rents at the same rate that they used to. Yep. So in essence, the divide should not be as wide, you know, in the future as it has been for the last three years. So as an investor, when I hear you say that, I'm essentially hearing, okay, then the sooner I can get in the better, right? Like if I'm, if I'm able to like pull forward some demand to get some properties right now, right? Like if I want to look at my other asset classes, if I know that I'm going to be investing in in rental properties as part of my retirement, as part of my long-term wealth creation strategy, then I want to get in as soon as I can before the prices continue to, to rise and, and, and decrease 100%. the cash flows, right? And think beyond the interest rate today. If you were locked into this interest rate for the next 30 years, I might say, hmm, we might have to consider that. Guys, it is as easy as refinancing your interest rate. If you don't like the interest rate today, even though you still get positive cash flow, if you don't like it today, buy the house. And then when rates come down in, in the future, as everybody expects, just refinance. And then the positive cash flow that you're making today with the high interest rate is just more when you refinance in one, two, three years, whatever it is. So, you know, look beyond the interest rate that you feel is high today and make a great decision because the asset underlying asset value is going up. Yeah. 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 So if that's if that's something that people are interested, I feel like as an investor, I would think, okay, yeah, but what if I don't have it right now? What I've learned recently is that the your first call with JWB, if you go to chat with jwb.com, is a lot about exploring. There's different places that people are pulling from in order to get into this asset class these days that most people don't really, they think they know about it, but there's much more than you think. So chat with jwb.com if you want to get that conversation started, look for extra source of capital in order to get in before prices continue to outpace rent. The other thing that I think about when you tell me that prices are outpacing rent, GC, where my head went was, okay, if prices are outpacing rent, that means that it's going to be harder for the person that's a renter to buy a home later on. And therefore, for me as an investor, I think that's risk mitigation for me because it's going to continue to provide a nice supply of renters into the market that I am investing in as well. 100%. It's one of the reasons I love this asset class so much. There are so many ways to win in this asset class. You are not just banking on one strategy, right? Unfortunately, home price affordability is an issue for our entire country. When home prices become unaffordable, it takes a certain segment of the population that otherwise would have purchased a home and it turns them into renters. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying that I want that for our country, but what I'm saying is I want to own the asset that can solve that problem yeah. when that issue is there. And I also want to work to solve the big problem of home price affordability, which largely comes down to easier and better building mm -hmm. regulations and, and less red tape. So Anyways, it's good to own the asset in an environment like we are today. And that's why I just think putting these assets in your portfolio right now is a really great idea. Yeah. And again, for ideas on how you can make that happen, chat with jwb.com, set up a call. It's a, it's a good time. All right.